Hey, you. I need to talk to you about something. Wait. One second. That's better. In today's video, we're gonna talk about four benefits of coffee. Before we start this, I wanted to go into real quick what people normally say about caffeine and coffee and why they don't like it. They always say you're gonna buzz out. They say that you're going to get caffeine addiction and they also say that it's gonna interrupt your sleep. Although they, remember from question everything, fundamental number seven, don't actually exist. And using facts today, we're gonna to talk about the four benefits of coffee, the benefits of this golden delicious brew that I love and I hope you do too. Benefit number one, metabolism. Caffeine itself helps to boost metabolism, warm up your hands and feet, decrease stress, yes, decrease stress, depending on if you have the right glucose and if your body can metabolize it correctly and so much more. See, the fact of the matter is caffeine itself, the molecule, allows your body, your mitochondria, to uptake more energy and to output more energy. Well, a lot of times people attribute caffeine and its energy to only breaking down adenosine. Coffee itself actually helps to improve metabolic state, to improve the efficiency of the cell, and to allow the cell to increase its creation of ATP, which is our main foundation of energy. I'm gonna link an article below from Ray P about how caffeine is one of his favorite micronutrients. Yes, micronutrients. Benefit number two, coffee is great for habits and routines. So an often overlooked aspect of habits and routines are these little uh, state changes and these little ways to honestly glue the routine or the habit together. And so what I mean is caffeine for a lot of people acts as a way to start the day. It acts as a beginning to the day. And now, yes, you can become addicted and yes, you can use it as a crutch, but if you use it effectively doing hand pour over methods like the V60, which I showed earlier, that allow you to actually get into the zone, to get into that meditative state and to plan out your day. Using coffee that way and allocating this coffee as a good point in time for the ritual to take place and to start is such a crucial element. See, Seth Godin, who wrote The Purple Cow, created the Alt MBA program, prolific speaker on doing work and actually going around the confines of our typical structural of society. He talks about how he handcrafts his own beans and he roasts them, he hand grinds them, he brews them, and he does this as a meditative routine, a habit, only in his day. Well, he doesn't even drink coffee or caffeine. So that's an easy example of someone who actually uses caffeine and coffee in their routine without drinking it. So if you're skeptical of drinking, you're skeptical, benefit number one, the metabolism, then by all means, utilizing caffeine, coffee, tea, something like that in your morning routine can really help set your day up for success. Now, one of the most potent benefits of coffee, and I'm sure if you've drank it before, you definitely have felt this before, is a nootropic-like effect. So a nootropic is a brain-performing or enhancing type, um, a lot of times they're supplements, that doesn't have bad side effects like modafinil or Adderall or something along those lines. Caffeine itself is a nootropic. And that's benefit number three. Caffeine gives you no tropic effect. It helps with focusing, it helps with productivity, and it helps with studying. And the reason is when coffee gets into your body, your bloodstream, that caffeine can actually go into your brain and get to increase cognition, to increase focus and performance and allow your neurons to fire actually quicker. So the caffeine from coffee is actually working in a way that allows you to think more clearly and that's why people get hooked on it for work and for other things, they end up drinking 13, 14 cups a day. End up drinking 13, 14 cups a day. Because of the fact that they started with that initial benefit, that initial like, I have this amazing euphoric type feeling that allows me to be more productive and get work done. On the other hand, if you're using a French press or some type of mechanism like that, then the coffee that you're actually getting into your bloodstream has a phospholipid from caffeine. Phospholipid is just a word for basically a fatty acid found in the coffee bean. 
which it can help to facilitate the overall components of that feeling of the nootropic. So just some things to keep in mind, but benefit number three again is coffee is a nootropic. Benefit number four, now this is going to tie directly into fundamental number two, quality over quantity. In fundamental number two, in the video and the article, I talk a lot about how quality is actually a skill that you do have to practice because in our minds, we're so tuned to quantity, 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 we get marketed here, we get marketed there, and all these stores are pushing sales all the time because they want you to buy, 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 have more, have more. In reality, practicing minimalism, practicing a actual conscious quality allowing yourself to just get the things that have a purpose in your life is so important and guess where you can start coffee now you may be wondering how you can start to practice quality through coffee the easiest way is to start to explore the different types of coffees the different types of pour over methods my favorite is an ethiopian from yergachev brewed in a chemex Yours might be way different, or you have no idea what I'm talking about. That is how you can craft quality and the ideology behind it in your mind, because the more that you start to practice and get into these little niches, these little, oh, I love my coffee this way, or I only like to hand brew my tea, or whatever it may be, the more you're starting to understand and learn the intricacies behind these different things, which then allow you to practice quality more and more in daily life. So that is benefit number four. Quality is easy to practice through coffee. So that's it for the four benefits of coffee that I wanted to cover today. If you have any other benefits that you'd love to share, like decreased coronary disease, um, increase in lifespan for people who drink four plus cups, I'll link that study below just because I think it's a good one for people who always claim that coffee is bad for you, then put it in the comments below. I'd love to read through that, have a little bit of dialogue with you. Give this video a like if it helps you in any way, and please subscribe to the channel so I can make more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching today's lesson. I hope it helped.